Hi, I'm Les Moll and welcome to this Poolstar presentation, an introduction to swimming pool pollutants. The aim of this session is to introduce the swimming pool operator to those pollutants which may present in swimming pool water and ultimately become a health risk to their pool users. This video will provide a snapshot only and should not be considered a comprehensive list of all those things which may affect pool water quality. Understanding what things can affect your swimming pool water quality should draw your attention to the need for an efficient filtration system and to ensure that you maintain a disinfectant system that meets health department standards. Swimming pool pollutants. Perspiration. Perspiration is just one of many body fluids that pollute swimming pool water. Perspiration contains sodium, magnesium, calcium salts, urea, creatine and amino acids. All of these components are high in nitrogen. A buildup of nitrogen causes algae to grow and in large concentrations can be toxic because of the associated ammonia nitrogen. The pH range of perspiration is 4.0 to 6.8. Urine. Urine is composed of urea, ammonia, creatine, uric acid, hippuric acid and inorganic salts. Urine has a much higher nitrogen content than perspiration and is therefore more difficult to treat with chlorine. However, the reaction of chlorine with urine takes only minutes and as long as the free chlorine levels are set within the prescribed range, 1 parts per million to 3 parts per million, the complete destruction of ammonia and other dangerous byproducts can be assured. Organic nitrogen. To ensure effective disinfection in pool water, the presence of organic nitrogen must be controlled. This can be achieved by ensuring breakpoint chlorination is maintained at all times. Bacteria. Bacteria can come from humans, animals such as birds, and the environment. Disinfecting agents are used to destroy or inactivate harmful bacteria. Pathogenic microorganisms found in inadequately disinfected pools include Escherichia coli, Staphylococcus, Streptococcus, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Mycobacterium marinum, Salmonella, and Neisseria species. Escherichia coli is used as an indicator for the presence of faecal pollution. Staphylococci and Streptococci are used as indicators for pollution originating from the nose, throat, mouth, and skin of bathers. They are more resistant to the disinfecting agents than the coliform organisms. Pseudomonas aeruginosa is an opportunistic pathogen which can cause eye, ear and skin infections. Mycobacterium marinum cause skin granulomas and it can be found on wet pool surrounds. Examples of bacteria. Many millions of species worldwide. 20,000 species found in one litre of seawater. Many waterborne bacterial pathogens. Shigella, Escherichia coli, Staphylococcus aureus, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Salmonella, Mycobacterium legionella. Viruses. Humans and animals pollute pool water with viruses, which can then infect other users. Most viruses, especially the enteroviruses, are more resistant to chlorine than bacteria, such as Escherichia coli. Adenoviruses are associated with pharyngitis, conjunctivitis, and fever. The enterovirus group includes polio, Coxsackie, and hepatitis A. These agents may produce gastroenteric infections jaundice, involve the nervous system and cause a variety of skin rashes. Disinfection concentrations required by the legislation will destroy the harmful viruses and render the pool water safe. About viruses, there may be one million or more in existence. Some common human viruses in water, adenovirus, hepatitis A, norovirus, enterovirus. Amoeba. Acanthamoeba species and Nagleria fowleri are ubiquitous protozoan organisms naturally occurring within the environment. Under suitable conditions, such as those found in poorly maintained pool water, they can cause a fatal form of meningoencephalitis. These protozoa invade the swimmer through the cribriform plate in the nasal cavity and then migrate to the brain. They are readily destroyed by maintaining the required level of disinfecting agent within the pool water. An amoeba is any of several tiny one-celled protozoa in the phylum or primary division of the animal kingdom, Sarcodina. Amoebas live in freshwater and saltwater, in soil and as parasites in moist body parts of animals. A close-up of an amoeba or protozoa. Algae. There are two types of algae that occur in swimming pools, free-floating and wall algae. All algae are microscopic plants that rely on sunlight, carbon dioxide, 
minerals, nitrogen compounds and nutrients to grow. The major problem with algae is it makes the water look dirty and creates slippery surfaces which can cause accidents around the pool. Algae can also help bacteria grow and make chlorination a less effective disinfectant. Shock dosing up to 10 parts per million will eliminate algae growth. Corrosion. Corrosion in pool structures is caused by prevailing acidic conditions, that is, a pH of less than 7.0. Such conditions can cause deterioration of structural concrete, cement rendering, other surfaces, and cause tiles to lift. Metal fittings including pumps, ladders, underwater light fittings, heat exchangers and pipework will also corrode. This will affect flow and have an impact on water quality management. It is very important to ensure that the pool water is chemically balanced to reduce the effects of corrosion on pool water quality and the materials used in the pool system. Total Dissolved Solids TDS TDS is the sum total of all of the dissolved things in swimming pool water. It's everything in the water that's not actually water. It includes hardness, alkalinity, cyanuric acid, chlorides, bromides, sulfates, silicates, and all matter of organic compounds. Every time you add anything to water, you are increasing the TDS. This includes not only sanitizing and pH adjusting chemicals, but also conditioner, algicides, and tile surface cleaners. It includes airborne pollutants and bather waste, as well as dissolved minerals in the water. Source water contains about 200 to 600 parts per million. The maximum TDS should be 1,000 parts per million above the source water level. Water boatmen. Water boatmen are somewhat flattened and elongated in shape. They have the hind two pairs of legs fitted with hairs and the tarsi of the hind legs is scooped or oar-shaped, which allows them to swim. Adults range in length from 3 to 11 millimetres long and are usually dull-coloured and often mottled. Water boatmen are the largest group of aquatic true bugs. They are sometimes confused with back swimmers, hemiptera, notonectidae, because they have the same general shape. However, back swimmers swim upside down in the water and are coloured with the wings lighter than the leg area. Adults are relatively small and soft-bodied. For lots more valuable information on swimming pool water management, check out the manual Free Chlorine, available from www.poolstar.com.au. Enjoy! As you can see, there are so many potential pollutants that can be present in swimming pool water. The filtration system is designed to eliminate the pollutants with high TDS levels, but the bacteria and viruses are so micro small that they will pass through the filtration media and will require some form of disinfectant to eliminate them. There will be more about disinfectants in later pool star presentations. However, being aware of what pollutants may be present in the water will provide enough reason to maintain recommended disinfectant levels. For further information about swimming pool operations and water quality management, please see the Poolstar website.